Gordon Ramsay says he's lucky to be alive after a bike accident in Connecticut last week. It's impossible to think about the British hospitality industry without talking about the star chef, Gordon Ramsay, who has been a major influence all around the globe. He has been known to be part of various television shows and has many establishments to his name. However, just recently, Gordon had a very insane encounter that almost took his life. Also, over his life, Gordon has had a very close call to death on a couple of occasions and has had other ugly experiences throughout his life. Join us as we bring you up to speed with the latest near-death experience Gordon Ramsay just had. Gordon Ramsay's early life was very hard, but these struggles fashioned him into one of the most acclaimed chefs around the globe. On November 8, 1966, he was born in Johnston, Scotland and raised later in Stratford-upon-Avon, England. His father, Gordon Ramsay Sr., wasn't very responsible and mostly used to drink alcohol and frequently changed his jobs, which strained the family. Being the second of four children, Gordon experienced firsthand the insecurity of instability at home due to his violently unpredictable father. However, this may have been a motivating force that got him thinking along the lines of being successful and secure. As a child, Ramsey loved athletics, including soccer. He was talented enough on the pitch that by age 15, he had been scouted by one of Scotland's top football clubs, Glasgow Rangers. However, a serious knee injury acts that dream. This period in his life is one that Ramsey often refers to as the real turning point. The disappointment of this injury made him turn to his other interests, one of which was food. He had grown to love cooking during his teenage years, learning to cook at home and working part-time in local restaurants. The loss of a football career turned out to be a blessing in disguise, which finally led him to the world of food. Ramsey took a catering course at North Oxfordshire Technical College, and his aptitude for cooking became evident almost at once. His resolution to reach the top despite personal adversities pushed him to be conscientious with his studies. Early in his career, Ramsey trained under Marco Pierre White at Harvey's, the celebrated London restaurant, an experience that would shape his future. White was a mentor who would push Ramsey to his limits. Ramsey has described his time at Harvey's as intensive learning, not only about the technical aspects of cooking, but also about discipline and perseverance that made the high stakes world of fine dining stick. In his quest to master the culinary arts, Ramsey studied abroad, as he knew that to stand amongst the creme de la creme of all chefs, he needed to expand his reach. It was further away in France that he got to hone his skills. He worked under the tutelage of some of the biggest names in French cuisine, namely Guy Savoy and Joel Robuchon, who had an effect on his growth as a chef. Under Savoy, Ramsey learned classical French techniques as Robuchon, considered by many the finest chef of the 20th century, refined Ramsey's skills further, teaching him simplicity and elegance in his dishes. Ramsey often remarks that his time in France gave him the foundation for establishing his career and building his reputation. By this time in France, Ramsey had also developed a love for Italian cuisine, which would later be reflected in many of his menus. He spent some time in Italy, soaking up the immense traditions of that country and learning from the master Italian chefs. This training indeed gave Ramsay an insight into the regional shades of both French and Italian cuisine and allowed him to create a dish that combined the best elements of both cultures. Back in London, after his overseas experience, Ramsay started his rise. He joined La Tante Claire, a renowned three Michelin-starred restaurant and he worked with the great Pierre Kaufman. The rustic Gascon style of Kaufman completely took Ramsey's heart, and he remembered two simple but important things, including maintaining bold, natural flavors and respect for quality ingredients. It was during his tenure at La Tante Claire that Ramsey further established his reputation as an up-and-coming star of the culinary world. Ramsey's big break then came when he was appointed head chef at the modern French London restaurant Aubergine. In just three brief years, Aubergine received two Michelin stars, 
an accomplishment so impressive that there was little doubt that Ramsay was destined for a prominent place in the circle of the UK's finest chefs. Ramsay's volatile persona, immovable ambition and high expectations earned him praise and criticism from the media and his colleagues alike. Throughout his career, Ramsay has been molded by a few important mentors, each making a distinctive mark on his style of cooking and managing. One of his most influential mentors was Marco Pierre White, who, though having some notoriously hard and at times abusive teaching manners, nevertheless gave Ramsay an opportunity to hone his skills at Harvey's. White's intensity and his passion for perfection were something Ramsay would carry with him throughout his career. It was in France that the critical influences of Guy Savoy and Joel Robuchon shaped Ramsay's culinary philosophy, aimed at achieving a balance and refinement that later became Ramsay's signature. These chefs not only taught Ramsay the necessary skills needed to excel in the kitchen, but also introduced him to how to keep a career going in a manner of innovation and creativity. Along with White, Savoy, and Robuchon, Albert Roux was another giant of French cuisine in Britain who featured in the early career of Ramsay. Ramsay did a brief stint under Roux at Le Gavroche, one of London's most renowned French restaurants. It was there he saw for the first time the world of fine dining with Michelin-starred restaurants, an experience that would fire his ambition to earn stars of his own. Meanwhile, Ramsay's spell at Aubergine also caused him to rise to the fore in terms of media attention. His temper and high standards became the stuff of legend, and this reputation as a no-nonsense chef who wanted the best from his staff and from his ingredients began to take shape. This persona would later make Ramsay a household name, especially once he transitioned into television. By the time Ramsay left Aubergine, he was one of the hottest chefs in the UK. Combining both French and Italian training together, his uncompromising standards against the mediocrity of others were what made him stand out and positioned him for even greater success in the years to follow. But while his restaurants would come to define much of his career, it was the lessons learned in these early years that really started to shape him into the chef he is today. The great food empire Gordon Ramsay has built over the years boasts a number of restaurants dotting the face of the globe while his career is embellished with the most prestigious awards and accolades one may imagine. His projects included several multi-Michelin-starred restaurants in the UK, the US, Europe, and Asia, all highly valued for their unique culinary offers and their attention to detail. Over the years, Ramsay has collected a total of 17 Michelin stars, although he currently possesses seven. His most famous outlets include Restaurant Gordon Ramsay, located in London, and Gordon Ramsay Steak in Las Vegas, among many others. His first restaurant, Restaurant Gordon Ramsay, which opened in 1998 in Chelsea, London, became an overnight standard bearer for top-tier dining. After three years, it earned three Michelin stars and made Ramsay the first Scotsman ever to have done so. Today, this restaurant still retains three stars a sign of consistency and Ramsay's relentless pursuit of excellence in the kitchen. It wasn't very long before the Ramsay restaurant empire started to expand rapidly throughout the UK and abroad. On his own, he opened Bread Street Kitchen in the UK for more casual dining and simpler food, Savoy Grill with its large grill section, Maze and The Narrow, which were all different venues targeted at different tastes and cuisines. While restaurant Gordon Ramsay epitomizes fine dining with its elaborately concocted French-inspired dishes, Bread Street Kitchen provides dining on a very casual level with more modest food, focusing on fresh seasonal ingredients. On the international stage, Ramsay's restaurants have begun to create quite a large presence in several major cities. Meanwhile, his Vegas restaurant, Gordon Ramsay Steak, is located in the Paris Las Vegas Hotel. This restaurant majors in great steak with an underpinning of British-inspired cuisine. For Ramsay, this restaurant is proof that high-quality meats and extreme dining are so characteristic of visitors in Las Vegas. He also opened Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, which was supposed to be themed after his TV show, offering modern takes on classic British and American dishes. In New York, 
His restaurant was accorded a two Michelin star rating before it closed in 2014. Presently, his presence in the U.S. is still felt with restaurants in Los Angeles, Atlantic City, and Lake Tahoe, among others. It has kept him to this date with an incredibly loyal following due to the excellence he strives for. In Europe, he operates Le Pressoir d'Argent, a two Michelin starred restaurant based in Bordeaux, France, showcasing the best local produce and celebrated for stylishly modernistic reinterpretations of French cuisine. He continued further into Asia with restaurants such as Bread Street Kitchen and Bar in Singapore and Mays Grill in Hong Kong, introducing this new audience to a taste of his unique British style of cooking. However, besides the Michelin stars, Ramsey has also received numerous other awards that prove his strength in the world arena. In 2006, he was awarded the Order of the British Empire by Queen Elizabeth II for his services to the hospitality industry. The OBE was not just a hallmark of his excellence as a chef, but also reflected in the impact he had brought on British culture and cuisine. He has won many prestigious awards because of his television career as well. His shows, Hell's Kitchen, MasterChef, and Kitchen Nightmares have received Emmy Awards and BAFTA nominations that further place him in a better position as an international entertainment star. This has brought his fiery personality and love for food directly into millions of living rooms, making him one of the most recognizable chefs in the world. Throughout his career, Ramsey has not held himself back in meeting with the figures that made a real difference to his cooking career. Men like Marco Pierre White, Guy Savoy, and Joel Robuchon helped nurture Ramsey in the early days of his cooking. With them for mentorship, Ramsey got discipline, creativity, and technical mastery that became the hallmark of his cooking. Ramsey also picked up a host of other industry awards. He received the Katie Awards, considered the Oscars of the hospitality world, for Chef of the Year and Independent Restaurateur of the Year, further underlining his contribution to the culinary arts. Of course, he is committed to mentoring too, as Ramsey has trained and developed so many of the great chefs who have gone on to open highly successful restaurants in their own right. His influence also reaches much farther than the kitchen walls. He has used his platform to encourage sustainability within the food industry by utilizing local resources and minimizing food waste in restaurants. His charitable endeavors have not gone unnoticed either. More recently with the Gordon and Tana Ramsey Foundation, this includes raising funds for a wide array of causes, including Great Ormond Street Hospital among other children's charities. Therefore, throughout his career, Ramsey has managed to balance innovation with high levels of quality in order to stay at the very top of the most competitive food environments in the world. His influence radiates from the restaurant doors into the television world and finally into the international food industry as a whole, guiding young chefs and calling for better food policies. This is evidenced in the chain of restaurants he owns, in addition to different awards and appreciation received. Be it Michelin stars or an OBE from Queen Elizabeth II, his career speaks volumes about hard work, skill, and indelible marks in both the food and entertainment industries. The restaurants remain extremely successful, even globally setting a new benchmark for fine food. Behind all this success as a chef, restaurateur, and TV persona, his life hasn't been exactly smooth sailing. Besides fame and accolades, Ramsey's life has been marred by many personal and professional setbacks, not to mention a host of near-death experiences. Among the most recent incidents that shook Ramsey's life was the terrifying bike accident in London. During one of his triathlon training, Ramsey was on his bicycle at immense speed. He suddenly ran into a pothole and flew over the handlebars. The impact of the fall was so big that Ramsey went down on his back and managed to injure his shoulder and even break a number of bones in the process. It was an accident that could have taken his life, but Ramsey happened to put on his helmet that morning which became his savior, leaving him with a huge black scare by his side. He underwent surgery to fix the wounds and has remained in recuperation since then. But the accident was just one of a long list of brutal reminders regarding how fragile life can be for a person like Ramsey, who is seemingly indestructible. 
Another near-death experience came when Ramsey was filming an episode of The Big Fish Fight in Costa Rica. Ramsey's very vocal stand concerning ethical and sustainable food practices finally led him to investigate the country's illegal shark fin trading, where fins are cut off sharks, which are thrown back into the ocean to often die. There was a point in time when Ramsey was held at gunpoint by the armed, illegal members operating the shark finning. Though highly dangerous, Ramsey did not back down, but it was a very tense and terrifying encounter. He did say later that he was doused with gasoline and warned to leave Costa Rica, emphasizing just how grave the dangers were while trying to confront illegitimate and unhealthy food practices of any type. Ramsey also had a frightening near-death experience filming the F word in Iceland. In the process, he was trekking with his crew on a wilderness of ice when he fell off the edge into some freezing waters down the cliff. It was uncannily unexpected and dangerous by nature, as Ramsey scrambled to stay on top while the freezing water raged around him. Thankfully, he was rescued by his crew before things turned tragic, but that incident really shook him up. Later, Ramsey claimed that it was one of the scariest moments in his life, proof of how close he had come to death. Besides these life-threatening incidents, Ramsey has faced many other major personal and professional challenges throughout his career. Beneath that veneer of confidence and success, he has been under the pressure of running a restaurant empire strung across the globe. The very high standards he sets for himself and his staff result in a great deal of stress and times of exhaustion. The no-nonsense attitude that Ramsey has adopted in the kitchen plays itself out in the demand for excellence within his restaurants, which has taken a toll on him. His early life with his father was also painful. Considering Ramsey was the child of an alcoholic father who would, at times, be extremely abusive, his childhood can be said to have been very disturbed and turbulent. The strained relationship that the family had forced Ramsey to leave home in the younger years of his life so that he could build from then on. While he has such tremendous success, it's quite sad that he grew up with lots of scars that he had to live with throughout his life. Despite the fortune garnered from these restaurant chains, Ramsey has equally suffered the wrath of financial crises. In 2009, Gordon Ramsay Holdings faced a financial disaster due to the economic crisis that was accompanied by mismanagement of administration. In order not to go bankrupt, he had to shut down several restaurants while restructuring the business. Indeed, that was one of the low points for Ramsay because this could have destroyed everything he had been building. However, he picked himself up, learned a few vital lessons from the setback, and came out much stronger and more determined. Gordon Ramsay has also suffered personal tragedy and loss within his family. In 2016, Gordon and his wife, Tana, experienced one of the saddest moments in their life. Tana miscarried. At this point, Tana was five months pregnant. The miscarriage was devastating, and it sure did affect the couple. Normally, Tough Ramsey opened up during this trying time to explain the deep pain and grief he and his family were experiencing. Later, they welcomed their fifth child, Oscar. But the loss of their unborn was traumatic and has left a lasting impact on the family. Whereas Gordon Ramsey had a tremendously successful life, he had to develop a tough skin to enable him to pass through some of the most difficult moments of his life. From that bike accident, which almost cost his life being held at gunpoint and falling off a cliff, Ramsey has been in quite a few life and death situations. His personal struggles, such as a bad relationship with his father, besides the pressures that tagged along with sustaining an empire across the globe, further tested his resilience. Through it all, however, Ramsey has managed to emerge as an icon in the culinary arena, using determination and drive to overcome any obstacle in the way with the goal of perfecting everything. That will be all for this video, and we will see you in the next one.